So I've received a lot of uh, questions and comments about the filter drawer system that I'm um, using on the 8-inch Rasa. Uh, one of the biggest issues that we were having was the fact that the drawer was so tight and you didn't have the ability in order to put your fingers in in order to pull it out. So we're going to cover one, how is it all put together from Star Zona in order to use on an 8-inch, and two, how do we fix that whole issue with not getting the filter slider out. So on the 8-inch Rasa, your camera mount here in the front in the middle of your corrector plate is threaded out and you get with the Rasa, you get your, of course your ring uh, to secure uh, your adapter onto the front. And you have two of these types of adapters. One of course is for the uh, M42 and then you have a larger bracket in order for the large full frame sensor cameras. So the way that this gets put together is that your ring cups whatever adapter that you're using and then that in turn screws down onto the front of the plate. So one of the problems that you have if you're using a filter drawer system on the front of this is because your diameter is so small that you anything past it you're going to interfere with the optical path of light coming into the scope and you're going to get some funky artifacts and stuff. So with the filter drawer system that we were talking about uh, from Star Zona, which was this, this little piece right here, uh, there was a question uh, from several viewers who were asking, well, how does this actually work? Because if you look at the one online, it's completely different. And what it talks about, it actually has a male thread that comes out on one side, and the opposite side is an M48, not an M42. And the adapter on here is an M42. So what Star Zona did was they took the flange on the front of the drawer, at least I think this is what they did. They took the flange on the front of the drawer and they used a different flange which has the female M42 threads which will go towards your camera on this side. And then on the M48 side, they're using an adapter ring which bushes it down from M48 to M42. And that just screws right in there, which enables you to then put it onto the Rasa. So if you can see up here in the top, this is the back side of the filter, filter drawer, and then this is the front side, the camera side, uh, where your uh, ASI or male threaded camera would be able to go in through here. And then of course the adapter uh, for the bushing for the 48 down to 42 is on the back side on the Rasa. So the way it's oriented, the way it's sitting right now is the back of the, of the drawer itself is flush with the ring. It is just nicely flush. Uh, it's not recessed. And if you had this opposite, uh, you would not get that. The, if you had it opposite, it would actually be below the ring. So I know that sounds a little bit funky, but that is just how it is working. So not a good thing at all. The piece of tape's fine, it'll work. You know, it's, it's kind of a pain, but it will work. So what I'm doing is I'm just using a small cap head screw, not very large at all. And I'm basically just gonna adhere it to the top of the plate, or to the top of the drawer here. It's just gonna get adhered to the top of the drawer. Now, it does stick up just a little bit past uh, the lip here. And I don't think that that's going to make a big difference. I really don't. Um, but I am going to just dremel off just a little bit on it just so that it's a little bit more clear. Because right now it's sticking up maybe about half an inch. Uh, I don't know. Maybe three-eighths. Just a little bit above uh, the inside of the plate here. And I really don't want anything to block the, the optical. Again, I don't think it's going to make a big difference. But just because... Um, this way, I'm going to go ahead and whack a little bit off and, and just see how it works. Whew. Man, that thing is still hot. Alright, so if I just place it right there, it's just, just barely over the top of that. Again, I, I don't think that's going to make a big difference. 
Uh, maybe it will, maybe it won't, I don't know. We won't know until we actually test it. So I am gonna do uh, one filter drawer with it and just see how that's gonna work and if whether or not that'll be fine. So the, the product I'm gonna be using is uh, this JB Quick Weld. Uh, it's supposed to be for steel reinforced epoxy. Setting time is supposed to be about six minutes and should cure in four to six hours. So um, basically pretty easy to understand. Of course you want to clean off uh, the parts that you're using on the filter drawer as well as the uh, cap screw here. So we're going to clean that first and uh, squeeze a little bit of amount of some amount here onto this. We'll mix it up pretty good and then we'll pop it on there and we'll let it sit and see what happens. So of course first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove our tape off. A little handy dandy there. And I am just using, uh, you can use any kind of degree, uh, degrease or whatever you want. I'm just using a little bit of, uh, of uh, some ammonia. And then uh, I'll go ahead and clean the bottom of this cap. And I'm assuming you, you could probably use the standard JB Weld if you wanted to. I don't think it really matters, uh, just so long as it'll adhere to steel. Put just a little, I'm not really going to use a lot, don't really need a lot. Put the hardener on, and we're just going to put that together. Just roll it around, mix it up. And like most JB Weld product, we're just trying to get that color, that consistent color throughout. So we got a, a nice gray going on here. I'm going to take my little cap head, and we're going to try to do this neatly. I don't want to have stuff all over the place. And then the way I'm going to mount it is uh, just basically going to be right in the center. Let's put that right about there. There we go. So it said it should, uh, should cure. It's a little slick. It said it should cure uh, four to six hours. It should set up here though fairly quickly, about uh, five minutes or so. So I'm actually gonna prop this up and uh, just let it sit and harden up and then uh, we'll come back later and see how it did. As one of my viewers said, <laughs> that is not a comfortable feeling working this close to glass and I, yeah, I totally get it. Um, there we go. So we're putting the camera on. We have our filter drawer in place there and we're good to go. And I'm gonna just turn it a little bit better so you can see a little bit better. So there we are. So if you remember what I was talking about, you didn't have enough room between the slider and the camera itself. So you couldn't get it out. I had the little piece of tape. Well, now that our DIY project is done, we have uh, the slider with our little nub on the top of it. There we go. Look at that. So just Pops right out, pops right in. Beautiful. So I hope that helped answer some of your questions. If you have any additional questions you'd like for me to cover or talk about or answer to go more in depth about, please put uh, your questions down in the comments below or feel free to email me off the channel. And if I didn't answer your questions, eh, rephrase them. Until next time, clear skies.